Hello everyone, welcome back and in today's video, we are going to be solving a problem from oscillations chapter of Pathfinder and this is the check your understanding problem number 9. So let's, this question will require a little bit of knowledge from fluid mechanics as well. So let's begin. So we have a uniform cylinder of mass m and area of cross section small s is floating partially immersed in a non-viscous liquid of density rho occupying some volume of the beaker of circular cross section area s. I'm just going to cons uh, consider the area of cross section of the container as capital A and the area of cross section of the cylinder as small a to avoid confusion. The beaker rests on the horizontal tabletop. If the cylinder is slightly displaced either up or down and then released, it will oscillate. Saying that, we have to find the angular frequency of these small oscillations of the cylinder. So let's begin with the solution. Okay guys, so let's say this is how the situation is looking like. The area of cross-section of the cylinder is A, the area of cross-section of the container is capital A. Now let's say we displace the cylinder uh, deeper into the water by an amount of x. Okay, so the volume of fluid displaced is going to be x times the area of cross-section of the smaller cylinder. This volume uh, over here that is displaced is equal to x times a, right? Okay, so now as a result of the volume being displaced, what's going to happen is the water level is going to rise. So let's say the water level rised up by an amount of y. So now we can f uh, find y by using volume conservation, right? So the amount of water that would be filled in these two holes is going to be the water that came as a result of displacing the cylinder. So the volumes, so both the volumes have to be the same. So we can say the volume that was displaced is x times a. This has to be equal to the height of the increase in water level is y times the area of cross section is going to be capital A minus small a and why is that? If you look at it from the top, it's going to look something like this where the fluid is present over here, right? Now from here, we can get the value of y, which is the increase in water level. That is going to be a divided by capital A minus small a times x. Usually when we speak about, you know, these problems, we don't consider the area of cross section of the container because we consider it to be extremely large in comparison to small a. And as you can see, if, if I consider a to be much greater than small a, this term essentially vanishes and we can say that the water level in the large container would not have risen. Whereas in this case, there is a rise in volume in water level. Okay, so now let's pull the cylinder down so as to indicate the forces. And as a result, the height of the cylinder will descend by a bit, obviously. Okay guys, so now let's find out the force that the fluid exerts on our cylinder. So for that, uh, let's try to find out the fluid pressure at this region. That is basically at the bottom face of our cylinder. So let's say the atmospheric pressure is P0. So we can use the variation of pressure with depth. So the pressure at the bottom of the cylinder is going to be P0 plus rho G times the height of the bottom layer from the free surface. So that is going to be Y plus the initial depth. So let's just consider the initial depth as L0. So the depth is going to be Y plus L0 plus X. Right, so this is going to be rho g l naught plus x plus y and y a upon capital A minus small a times x. So initially the mass weight of the cylinder that is mg was balanced by the weight of the volume of fluid displaced and initially the volume of fluid displaced was corresponding to this water column of height l naught right. So it's going to be rho g l naught. So okay, so now as we have the pressure at the bottom, the pressure at the top surface of the cylinder is simply p naught right. So the delta F acting on our cylinder is going to be P at the bottom minus P at the top times the area of cross section of the cylinder, which is small a, right? And we also have to subtract Mg as there is a weight of the cylinder, right? So now the P bottom minus P top, if you do, uh, okay guys, I missed a small a over here, right? This has to be rho G L naught times a, right? Because that will be the volume. That will be the volume of the fluid displaced in the first case, right? So from here, as you can see, rho G L naught times a We'll just cancel out with mg right so as we can see that the excess force generating as a result of pushing the cylinder in by an amount of x is first of all acting in the opposite direction we took the direction of you know delta f in the upward direction so and that's exactly what we got so which basically means the nature of this oscillation is simple harmonic and from here the upward acceleration is simply delta f divided by the mass of cylinder is going to be this particular value and the omega which is the angular frequency of oscillations and this would be our required answer for this problem so that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and do share it with your friends and that's it thanks for watching